This disclaimer was copied without permission. Cheers, Crawford's Castle Swiggers, Sibbers, and all other good people out there. Yeah, it's Hub's Watch again at your service as always. It looks like I've got my work cut out for me. I've got a lot of new awesome beers, as you can see. There's something from Beard Brew, and there's something from Illuminati. Illuminati, that's, that's a pune. Uh, at least it is in gibberish. It's so uh, this these are from uh, the Danish town of Ranas, uh, and these are from the Danish town of Vibo, and there will be lots uh, to tell about these beers as we go through them. But first up, we will have Yeah, while well, the introductory scenery and music came on, I thought it was best to put away all the other beers before I knock them over or something stupid like that. I know myself. So, today's beer from Beard Brew, one of their concepts is that they have a different beer for every beer that they brew. On this one, they have a thin, yet very stylish moustache. They are definitely rising stars on the Danish beer scene and they are someone to uh, to have a close look at. I have already tried their first brew that was an Imperial Stout and it was absolutely smashing. You can read about that on my beer blog. I'll leave a link to the review. It isn't gibberish of course, uh, however you can always try a translation engine. Maybe it will churn something readable out. Though, I have my serious doubt. If you take my antics here in my videos and multiply it by 10, uh, that's how I go about on my blog. So how much of that would, be, would make any kind of sense in any other language uh, is highly questionable. So, um, but let's, uh, let's have a look at this. I, I have rather high expectations for this because usually what these guys bottle is, uh, is of absolutely exquisite quality. So this one is a lager, the Lounge Lizard. Lager is a difficult beer to uh, to make actually because everyone knows their lagers, which also means that many people find lagers boring and generic. They don't have to be though. However, I don't know. To take for example, take for example, India Pale Ale. They have a wide range of tastes and uh, and feels to them. Well, lagers tend to be all along the same lines. Um, that would, of course, come from the fact that lagers are usually the standard brews of uh, any larger brewery in, well, the world. But occasionally, and especially if you uh, go for the, the smaller breweries and the, uh, the, the craft brews, they have managed to expand the, the concept of the lager or the pilsner, if you like, uh, way beyond anything that I thought was possible. So let's see what these guys can do. So the traditional Pilsner or Lager hops is called Hallertauer. It's German. I don't know if it's the one that they use in this beer. I'll just have a brief look. Very fresh. Um, not particularly rich. Hops, Vic Secret, Mosaic and Columbus. Mosaic and Columbus are typical IPA hops types. So no Hallertauer here. Thars is the traditional Czech one. Uh, this seems to be more of an American inspiration, which is good because basically I like American craft beers much more than German as well as, as Czech beers. At least more than the German and Czech standard beers, which are about as generic as you would get them. So fresher hoppy notes than you would expect from any industrial standard generic Pilsner. 
Mm. Oh, this is definitely, this is definitely way beyond what you would expect from a traditional generic industrial lager. Very bitter. Um, a tad of smoke. A tad of peat. This is already highly unusual from what you would expect from a generic pilsner. Lager, if you like. A more heavy bitterness, um, which lingers around the side of your tongue and your gums. Mm. This is a lager for sip sipping. I mean, uh, lagers are for 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 swigging, def definitely. I mean, quaffing even. A lager for sipping. That in itself is a contradiction in terms, or at least very unexpected and unusual. Uh, I I actually had a, 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 a bit of a Twitter feud about a lager the other day, a Nevada, who I referred to earlier. Uh, just threw it out there, the old joke about uh, um, making love in a canoe. And I, uh, I made her um, aware of my earlier video where I actually made that joke when I was trying out um, generic Danish Pilsner and um, standard American Lager, uh, Budweiser versus Carlsberg. And there were some snarky and salty comments in that thread. I want Ralph's in there, by, by the way, as well. It's, it's, a, it's, an interesting, um, it's an interesting thread, and I will, of course, also link to that. Um, uh, there were some snarky comments about lagers and how they are, well, to say it uh, in a diplomatic way, not worth wasting your time on. On this, however, you would uh, go on to sip from this extensively. For a really grand long time, and I don't think I'm going to drink much of this beer for the rest of this video because I'll actually save it for later. This is uh, this is really enjoyable, um, mm, very very nice, slightly smoked, um, heavy hopsy notes, and it definitely deserves uh, five stars. Uh, actually, I'll give it five and a half out of six. Um, Even though it's 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 heavy and it has some untraditional elements, it also has uh, the traditional bitterness of of lager. However, much more clear and absolutely clean. No hints of, of harshness and no hints of too much corn. No metallic uh, by tastes and no synthetic feel to it. This is pure. And clear and act and even in in this small hops explosion that you get with every sip it's still drinkable mm. well some stouts for example some IPAs even uh, give you the urge to chew it to chew the brew rather than just to drink it this is actually very drinkable Mm. It's only the taste that keeps you from hammering it down because there's so much taste in it. It's not the rich richness or the mouthfeel of the brew that does it. It's it is the aroma alone. So another little masterpiece from um, from beer brew. Who would have thunk? I would, because they make damn good beers. And if you ever uh, get the chance to get a beer brew beer. Uh, definitely, definitely do it. I think it's going to go well for them. I, I, uh, I sincerely hope so. Uh, it can be difficult to have a breakthrough on the international uh, or only, well, Danish beer scene. They definitely deserve all the success in the world with beers like these. Cheers to that. So if you like what I do, uh, like the video, comment, subscribe, share the video even. 
um, and also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook and my blog. The latter two are in Danish, so you'd better master that language if you want to get something proper out of that. But there are always translation engines. I've still got a huge, almost empty wall here that would love to have uh, posters up from breweries or people who just want me to promote something. If it's something I can support, I, I can put it up there. Also, if you want to send me beers uh, to review, t-shirts to wear, contact me on aforementioned social media so that you can get my address to, uh, to send me whichever merchandise you might have for me. So, uh, that'll be all for this time. I've been Hopswatch, as always, at your service. Always remember to drink responsibly, uh, especially with beers like these. You want to drink them responsibly because it's, it's a damn pity to, to waste them by just hammering them down. Um, so, until next time, cheers.